and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. I own the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the results year to date for 2022 for the Stock Swoosh Show live trading room. We've had great results so far this year. So this is the entire month of January and the first week of February. Advanced trader risk of around $2,700 per trade you could have made in the room, 105639 this is an 88% win ratio. And again, you can risk less amount. Uh, you can risk a beginner amount. There are people in the room and everybody's risking a different amount. But I'm calling the trains live in the room and the exits and the targets if you would like to join. So everyone in the room really has had a great start to this year. We, we've had very few losers. And we've had some big, big movers too, which is a result of what? We've just had a lot of volatility in the market. So that's made for some great trading. If you'd like more information and you'd like to join, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. You can also call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So earnings season is a great time to trade. We're in earnings season right now. There are four quarterly earnings seasons a year. I trade gaps and we get more gaps in the earning seasons. Does it mean that we don't have gaps in between? No, we do, you just don't have as many. So you have bigger movers during the earning season period. And so that's the time that you really wanna participate and you really wanna make sure you get up in the morning early and you're in the room every day. All the trades we're doing are early between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. Some trades were in and out in five minutes. Some trades were in a half an hour, it depends, but we're focused on the morning. A day trade is any trade you're in and out between 9.30 and 4. This is not an options trading room. This is a day trading room. It's trades you're taking on margin uh, where you're taking a position based on the cost price of the stock on margin, no matter you know, whatever size you want to take. And again, you can trade with a small risk. There are people in the room that are using you know, under a $500 risk per trade, I know, and they're still doing well. So. You can take a small account and build it up to a large account if that is what you want to do. But 2022 is here. I mean, it's February already. It's the year to make your dreams come true. And if you haven't figured out a plan of action, how to do that, or what the steps you're going to take to make your dreams come true this year, you better get a move on. Already it is February. Before you know it, it's gonna be March and then spring. So while we all have goals, it is important to be realistic about how to achieve those goals. If you're not, you're never gonna achieve them. You know, sometimes people, you know, want to put the cart before the horse. That's not how trading works. It's important to learn and understand what to do and then also to take the necessary steps to do that. So we had 21 trades or 21 winners this year, three losers, two break evens and a win ratio of 88%. So again, great start to the year for everyone. Uh, started out the year in January, we were closed. Foot Locker did break even, but that was actually a positive trade. I didn't get out of it right. Uh, no trades on the 5th. Netflix was a big winner on the 6th. Spy, huge, and the Qs. We've done the market a lot this year. The market's had, like I said, a lot of volatility. The trades have been there. Uh, we do a mix of shorts and longs, but many of these are shorts, just so you know. January 11th, no trades. Apple was a break even on the 12th. Netflix was a winner, and Facebook on the 13th. It was a nice day. Now, I will do more than one thing if I feel so inclined, but we tend to do one trade a day, just so you know. 14th was JPM that was a winner. 17th, we were closed. 18th was Goldman and the SPY. Again, two trades that day. No trades on the 19th. AA was a small winner. And UAL on the 20th, that was earnings for United. And then on Netflix, <coughs> we had a big winner on the 21st. That was a nice move. SPY was a winner on the 24th. Apple won on the 25th. Microsoft was difficult. First trade lost, and then we did a retake. I teach that in the class. McDonald's was a loser on the 27th. Boeing was a big winner on the 27th, and then we did Boeing again on the 28th. Apple was a winner on the 31st. UPS took two trains. Um, that didn't work out right on the first, but turned it around. PayPal, big winner on the second. Facebook, big winner on February 3rd, and then we had a large winner in Ford on February 4th, and that was a short. So what do I do? I get up in the morning, I look at the gap. So here's the chart from Friday. It's Ford. Stock closed here, gap down, fell. So I go through my method and my rating system in the pre-market to determine what is Ford gonna do? Is Ford gonna fall? Is Ford gonna rally? 
What is it going to do? Where is it going to go next? How do we even know if we should do it at all? So this is the process and this is what you would learn in the class with me. Anyways, it was a short and it was a nice short and it had a tiny stop, which was nice as well. So you could really load it up the size on that big, big trade on Friday. And it had a big move too. Again, momentum, volume, all of these things really benefit us, um, particularly in earnings season. Now, as I was talking about, this is showing you results with a $2,700 average risk per trade. You can risk less than that. There are people in the room that are risking varied amounts depending on their experience and the size of their cash account. If you would like to ask me what I think based on your cash size, ask me. But I say start slow and grow it. You can start with a small account and build it up over time. Can you trade with a beginner risk? Yes, absolutely you can. No doubt about it, and there are people that are doing it, and I've seen people quadruple their account. Um, it has been just, a, like I said, a really good start to the year for everybody, but you have to stay on track. You have to get up every day. You have to do the right actions, and if you do that, you're gonna be fine. So one of the benefits of trading with a small account is if you're doing options, then you don't have to worry about margin. Now, if you're doing day trades, then you do have to worry about margin. Now, if you don't have a, if you have a retail account, they have margin requirements, you must call your broker. If you don't wanna trade at a retail broker, you can call a prop broker. A prop broker will give you more buying power for your cash. That's something that you have to investigate. There are many places out there find out what's available to you. But in today's day and age, there's lots of people trading, obviously with the explosion of Reddit and all that's been happening in the last two years with the active people trading the market, people are trading with small accounts. So don't think you can't do what you can. But you know, whether you have a small account or whether you have a big account, you really need to know what to do in order to make money either way. And it's even more important if you have a small account because you really can't afford to lose that much. Part of, part of 2022, I think for a lot of people is financial freedom and just freedom in general. People are looking at the world a lot differently now. March of 2022 is coming up. It'll be two years since COVID started. And there are many places across the world that are not still free, still under lockdowns and all kinds of mandates. And we're not back to normal in any part of the world, I don't think yet. So that's a problem. You know, take it upon yourself to make extra money. It's going to do you good in the long run no matter what. If you'd like to learn what I know, you would take the Golden Gap course. This is a class I teach once a month. Although January is very busy for me, I did not teach a class in January. So the first class is going to be the end of February for 2022. If you wanna come and learn, you can email me for sign up forms or for more information. Now, if you wanna sign up for the options newsletter, you can sign up for this as a subscription service. It's $69.99 a year or $49.99 for six month subscription. This gets you the options trades. Again, this is not the room. This is the options newsletter. Some people have asked me about this. There are no prerequisites. There also are no trials. If you want to trial to the trading room, you can email me for that. Again, the trading room is day trades, active day trades. Now, if you want to sign up for the class and you want to do the course, you can sign up. It's the Golden Gap course. The first class of the year is February 26 and 27, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Class tuition is $6,999. The class is online. You can email me anywhere in the world to take it. So you can sign up, you can do the class, and then you can sign up for the trading room after the class. And the nice thing is then you'll get the live daily calls Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now, if you can't trade in the room every single day, trade three days a week, two days a week, whenever you can. Do the best that you can in order to be there, in order to be active, okay? So I'm also doing the combo. This is the trends and the golden gap. And that is going to be the Tuesday after this class. I believe it's March 1st, but you can email me for the coming dates for the trends class as well. Listen, it's been a great start to the year. If you have questions, reach out. You know, you, if I don't pick up the phone when you call, you can leave a message, I will call you back. And again, you must email me for the forms to sign up. You cannot sign up through their website. It's been a great year. And I've been very focused and I will continue to be focused for myself and everyone, included all the Stock Swish members. Uh, write down the class dates if you're interested. Email me. Have a great day, everyone.